Good morning. For today's lesson, we are going to look at web browsers and web pages. Last week, we talked about the things that are needed to connect to the internet. We made mention of a browser as one of the major things that we need in order to access information or connect to the internet. So for today, we'll be looking at what a browser is. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify and describe browsers and web pages. Now let's start. We start with what a browser is or the meaning of a browser. When you talk of a browser or a web browser, we are referring to an application software that is installed on computers to have access to the internet. So when a browser is installed on a computer, it helps the user to be able to retrieve, present, and transverse information from the internet or from the World Wide Web. Now, the web browser was developed or invented by Tim Berners Lee in 1990. So, in 1990, this application was developed and it was introduced in 1991. Now, let's look at some examples of web browsers or browsers. So we have the first one to be the Google Chrome. This is also a common browser that we normally see on our mobile phones and most computers to desktop computers. So we have the Chrome or the Google Chrome as one of the familiar or common web browsers seen on our devices. Now this browser was developed by Google. So it was a browser developed by Google to be used on mobile phones or desktop computers. Now let's have a look at the next example of a browser. So the next one is the Mozilla Firefox. Mozilla Firefox. And as we can see, we have the logo or the icon of the browser over here. Whenever it's installed on a computer, this is how the icon or each shortcut appears on the desktop or in the start menu. So this browser was also developed by the Mozilla Cooperation. It was developed by the Mozilla Cooperation. Now let's have a look at the next one. We have the Internet Explorer. So this is also a familiar web browser, mostly seen on desktop computers. After installing an operating system, this browser comes as a default browser, meaning it comes with the operating system. So for most computers running Windows 7, Windows SP, and so on, we see this type of browser on the tax bar, which is below the desktop screen. And it's a default browser seen on most computers. So let's say on the computer, if there is no browser installed on it by the user, we have this default one that can be used by the user. And it's easily for you to open by just going to the tax bar at the desktop and just click on it for it to launch. So this type of browser was also developed by Microsoft. So it comes with Microsoft operating systems. Now the next one is Opera Mini. This is also an application software. Opera Mini is not a default browser. It doesn't come with operating systems. So if you want to have a copy of this browser running on your computer, unless you download from the internet and install on the computer. So the Opera Mini is also a browser developed by the Opera Corporation. And it works the same as the other browsers. It helps the user 
to access information from the internet. Now the next one is Safari. We have Safari. This is also a web browser that is being developed by the Apple company and it's mostly seen on MacBooks or Apple laptops and Apple phones. So that's the browser we have on Apple devices. We can also install other browsers on the Apple device by just downloading them from the internet and installing them on those devices. Now let's look at some other browsers that we have. From the ones we mentioned, those are the familiar ones that we normally see on computers and other devices. But we have other examples of browsers too. Now the first one is Microsoft Edge. This is also a default browser seen in Windows 10 operating system. Then we have Lex, we have eWeb, we have Flock, we have MegaWeb, Arena, Slipknot, Avent Browser, Cello, UC Browser. I hope you are familiar with UC Browser. Then we have AOL Explorer. We have Camino. Then we have Vula WWW. We have NetSurf. We have Surf. We have A Mosaic. Then we have Netscape Navigator. So all these are some few examples of browsers which are used or installed on computers to display web pages. We we'll look at what a web page is. So we we'll talk about what a web page is. So in a browser, for you to get information being displayed in your browser, the first thing you have to do is that you have to launch the browser on your computer. When the computer is connected to the internet, either by the use of Wi-Fi or a modem, when it's being connected to the internet, for you to get your information being displayed in the browser, the browser must be launched first. When the browser is launched, in the search box, you can type in a keyword to search for your information. Or, in the uniform resource locator or the address box, you can type in a website address to display the contents of that website. To whatever comes from the web servers will be displayed in your browser for you to have a look at and that's what we call a web page that's a single document being displayed in a browser now let's look at the main function of browsers as we said earlier when they are used to access the internet so the main primary purpose of a web browser is to bring information resource to the user allowing them to view the information and then access other information on web pages of a website on the World Wide Web. So that's the main function of web browsers. Now when you talk of a web page, we are referring to just a single document on the World Wide Web or a single document on the internet. So that's a web page. Whenever you open a browser and click on a hyperlink, the page that is placed within the browser window is what we refer to as a web page. We will end our lesson here and continue next week. But before that, you have to answer these questions and submit on your website. The first question is, what is a web browser? Do you write the definition for a web browser? And the second one, State five examples of web browsers. So you list down five examples of web browsers. Then three, you state the main function of a web browser. The main function of a web browser. For next week, we'll be looking at the features of a web browser. So we'll be having a look at the features of a web browser window. And I hope you already know what a window is from our previous lessons. We said a window is a rectangular box or the working area of an application when the application is being launched or executed on a computer. So for next week, we will launch a web browser 
on the computer and look at some of the features we can see within the web browser. That's all for today. Meet you again next week, Wednesday. Bye.